What's up, I made and you are watching the barn rebuild on this episode. Me and Dan, we're sorting out the roof because the first set of roofers didn't quite finish. There's a couple of hours worth of work. We need to do a couple of bits up there ready for the weekend in a couple of days time for the other roofers to come to actually fit this stuff down here. So, it's, everything's a pain in the ass. I'm sorting stuff out because obviously it didn't get done. Velux needs to be moved. One set of flashings that didn't come. That's being reordered. It's coming last thing Friday, more than likely. So I have to sort it out tonight. Just up at the moment, sweeping down. Uh, the roof has left a no load of nails on the actual felt, which I, I don't want to stay there. So we're just going to get rid of them. This Velux here, that is too high I think it is in relation to obviously the what's below in terms of like reveal so we're gonna take the flashing off that and move that one um, Dan has just told me that some of these rails like the purlins are not actually screwed down at the top <laughs> so we're gonna sort that out as well um, this this bird cone here uh, me and Dan put this side in last night um, Bearing in mind obviously I shouldn't be doing any of this because I've paid my main contractor to shell it And yeah, I'm sorting out loads of stuff. So uh, I'm almost not sure why I'm paying him Oh in the bird comb I actually went out and bought that the other morning so Bloke's not even here <laughs> This is the twin flashing that got messed up, basically. So I'm gonna sort that out another day. Well, I say another day, yeah, the Friday. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out how to do it on my own. Yeah, so we're gonna jump out. I'm gonna put you on charge. And, uh, carry on, yeah. Right, so that one sorted, had to be moved up. So you need someone like me and Dan to do things that properly. <laughs> I don't, we always refer to most of the other trades as uh, a certain word that I can't say on here, but um, let's just call them morons. Uh, 
the other ones are not really done properly I would fit them better um, so I'm glad I'm having to do the other side properly um, we're gonna jump over and carry on on the cart lodge now that's a different vlog um, have a cup of tea I don't normally drink tea but I've started there's still a few bits for me to do up on the main house or barn um, around the Veluxes need some extra battening I'm just hoping that the next roofers are not morons as well we don't end up with leaks because we haven't got under felt collars under them windows with like the gutter at the top and everything like that I probably would have put it in but obviously it's not my job so we'll see if there's loads of water pouring in one day right it's Friday it's almost 12 o'clock and the flashing for the other side still hasn't turned up and uh, because I'm up here like checking stuff and like getting my head around stuff I've realized that we need more rows basically so this one is probably the only one the other ones are not fine basically um, the roofing sheets the way that I've designed it the roofers they're gonna have a bit of a touch for, for the way that they finish so they don't have to do a tremendous amount of cutting because the first sheet finishes here so they just have to nip off the bottom um, and it's the same with the other ones up there apart from this one but obviously what the situation is I'll, I'll turn you around right this one isn't too bad because we've got this row here so any sheeting that goes underneath it can sit on there basically um, but you're still not you're not going to be able to get any fixings there so I am going to fix one like about there kind of thing so you can get fixings through the other ones haven't got anything at all so you would almost have like a flapping sheet you can't have an unsupported sheet for more than 300 millimeters i think off the top of my head so it's a good job that i know these things and i can figure it out you pay someone to show a building and then you end up doing all this work i'm still i'm still wound up about that actually i get more and more wound up every day <sighs> Just uh, getting up on the roof and actually sorting things out that haven't been done, you realise how much other stuff's been bodged. I don't, I don't know whether the bloke, obviously he's not paid enough to do what he was doing because he was expected to do like four days worth of work in three basically or even four days in two it actually started off. I thought it was all right. I got on with him well and everything, but why? Why would you do this? So the battens, obviously, it raises everything up here, and then the window actually sits on this. Now, round the side here, you see there's a batten on the side there. And there should be one here, but there's not. And just inside there, there's a foam strip what you pull off, and it expands to obviously complete the insulation. But there's nothing for it to push against because it's missing so now i need to take off all of this flashing just to put this one little bit in why wouldn't you just do it in the first place oh for fuck's sake oh.
Okay, so jobs are good and I'm pretty much there. I've put all the extra rails on here. So that's all sorted. The extra uh, bird comb's gone on. Uh, I've screwed down everything uh, that wasn't screwed down. There's a couple of holes in the felt. That's a nice one there. You see it? So, um, what I'm going to do, I don't know whether this is the done thing or not, but I've basically I've got some extra felt. I've tucked it underneath. And then um, I'm going to try and get it under there, under the batten a little bit. I'm just going to wax some spray adhesive on it. It'll do, wouldn't it? I've also fitted these properly. Um, yeah, just like one screw everywhere, these middle brackets weren't in as well. That was a pain in the ass. Um, over here, I couldn't be bothered, so I just put a big one in. So they've got plenty of stuff to screw in, and then at the top as well. Because um, there's not gonna, really going to be that much there um, once the... Uh, ridge piece goes on they'll have like a sliver almost so i just thought I'd beef it out quite clearly there's no flashing on that it's supposed to come today didn't come today um well it's, it's gonna come yesterday didn't come yesterday was gonna come today definitely this morning then this afternoon then the end of the day then it's gonna be tomorrow morning and uh the sales rep is it, I think he's just blagging everything. I don't know how he's still got a job. I honestly don't. And I don't know why Sean relies on everyone else to sort everything out. Buck stops with him, doesn't he? He's the main contractor. I shouldn't be managing this job, basically, and doing all these fucking stupid things, but I'm trying to basically keep costs down so he doesn't charge me any more money, but I don't know what's going to happen there. I think he's gonna try, I'm gonna say no. No. Uh, see you tomorrow. Molded, right, I'm all set up, I'm ready to go. Seven o'clock in the morning, I've got my trains down there so I can get up on there, because I've got my wellies on. Got my drill ready. Just waiting for that flashing. And then uh, I'm gonna come round here, I'll show you. I've set this up. So this tells them exactly how far they need to come off of the window. So they can't get it wrong, can they? And then I've got down here, that's how far they need to come off the fascia as well, 50 mil overhang. Here's my plan. So that space is everything that way up the roof. And I'm gonna leave it to them to basically space it this way. If you can imagine, it's like tiling, so you don't want a sliver at the end. Well, that's the way that I would do it anyway, but we'll see if one of them's got a brain. Hopefully they'll be able to work it out, because I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. It's not my job. I don't fit it, so they should be able to figure it out, right? What do you reckon the chances are? Lads have gone home. There's five of them, all on double bubble. Yeah, that, that totals up over two days, doesn't it? And then obviously the governor, governor, that's not on the tools, he's probably on double charge as well. So it's pretty expensive. I'm, I assume that's the reason why obviously Sean wants to bump it over to me, but it's not mean really my problem, is it? I I didn't not book anyone in. Yeah, I've painted this bit. That last rail was black. I didn't realise that. Let me show you the other side. There you go, all done. It was a good job. I did stay here. We had to put in some extra rails and then I had to convince them how to do the round the V-luxes, well, key lights properly. Um, yeah. I actually dressed the flashing as well um, because I've got my lead tapper. 
Because I've done a little bit of lead in before. But, um... I'm not 100% convinced that it's not going to leak. So obviously the flashing is made for deep tiles, not these big sheets. And they were saying like it's it's easier to do metal roofing. Like I said like I I, had, I went for this on the basis that um, the heritage wouldn't kick up a fuss because that's what was on it originally. But thinking about it, there was a little bit of metal roofing on the other side, so maybe I would have got got away with the metal corrugated stuff um, instead, and then that would have been easier. Oh, flashing didn't turn up on this. So plan is basically cut around it exactly the same as we have the other side, and then... Um, the sheets that have to come back off round that and shift across and then put that flashing back in and uh, I guess he's probably going to end up doing that. I will see you tomorrow. I'm going to put it on the time lapse. Give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. I was just up sweeping the roof and uh, my next door neighbours, uh, they rented out their little barn and the bloke that's staying there just come out. He just had an order, takeaway. He said, excuse me, he said, you don't want a burger, do you? And I went, uh. He said, oh, we just got someone else's order and it's got extra. And I was like, yeah, all right, yeah. Look at this. Oh my fucking God. That wonderful. It's like Christmas. Almost done. So close, but yet so far, the flashings, they didn't turn up. So it, I had to tell them to cut around it. It needs a little bit of tweaking. So when the flashings do actually come, these roof sheets need to come back off and then the flashing needs to go in. So Sid, he hates doing the lead work and there's a little bit of lead work to do on here. He said, I'll, I'll do your deal. He said, if you do the lead work, I'll come back Friday and take these off for you so you can put the flashing in. I said, yeah, I'll, I'll go for that. I don't mind doing a bit of lead work. I've done it on my old house. I think it's quite easy. Like obviously no like complex stepping stuff or anything like that, but it's just to make sure that one of these, it's just on the edge here. There's four bits to do, it'd be easy. Anyway, if you haven't already, give us a thumbs up. Please do subscribe, hit the bell notification. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.